Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the game played between Nihal Sarin and Kovalenko Igor. Nihal Sarin was white and he opened the game with d4. Black responded with d5. Knight f3, knight f6 and bishop f4 with London system. And the black side was Kovalenko Igor is a very aggressive, aggressive player. So the best choice for the attacking players is to go c5 and here Nihal Sarin went e3 Black knight played knight c6 knight bd2 and he took the pawn white takes and then black played bishop f5 very symmetrical yes but it's just the opening still and here he has a went bishop b5 pinning this maybe ideas of taking this knight and uh, making the structure weak black here went rook c8 seeing that if bishop takes rook takes come any structure is good and here white went knight e5 putting pressure here now the idea was to take with this knight pawn takes and just bring back the bishop and the structure will be weak and so black ensured that his structure should not get bad and he went bishop to d7 now what was played before was uh, mostly played here was queen to b6 white takes and black takes now this was played in a game played between Abesov and Navara in the Prague 2021 and the game continued Abesov playing knight b3 and Navara playing h6 white went castle e6 and then c4 and the game continued after bishop e7 queen e2 and queen e6 Knight c5, black takes and takes, and then Abbasal won the game eventually. But in the game, what was played here was bishop to d7, white took the bishop, queen takes, and just played c3, a cool move. The structure is now very good. This pawn is just protecting and no threats because he might have gone a6 and stuff like that so black also here went e6 again almost the same pattern but on the opposite side white here castled black went a6 and here white did not exchange the bishop for the knight while he went bishop d3 and ideas of knight b4 are blocked by this pawn and also this pawn is protected black also here when bishop d6 offering the exchange white here when bishop g5 bishop e7 rook e1 black here when queen to c5 white when queen f3 and black here when knight to d7 and black asked him okay do you want to exchange your bishop and Nihal Sarin exchanged and took that bishop. Now a better choice would have been to go bishop e3. It would have been a stronger move. But yes, he went for bishop e7. Black took with his knight. Queen h3. Now the idea is to prevent the king from castling. Because here if he tried to castle, it would have been a mate on h7. So that's why he cannot castle. And yeah, Kovalenko uh, here went queen to f4. Uh, attacking this knight. And here Nihal said went knight f3. Maybe ideas can be to go knight e5. And here black went rook c6. 
and white also brought his rook up and when rook e3 black went g6 black went rook a e1 doubling the rooks and your black went h5 a very good move white here went g3 uh, uh, forcing the queen to go back black went queen f6 queen g2 knight f5 white took g into and he went h4 here a very important move well in the game coel and co went king d8 but uh, uh like a natural move which would come to the mind would be to go f4 but after take queen takes you cannot go rook g8 pinning my queen and king my rooks are very active knight jumping to g5 and white's position looks good in the game coel and co went king d8 White went knight g5, jumping with his knight into the opponent territory. Black went king c8, queen f3, and he went king b8. Here white went b3. Now I, you know, the idea can be to go c4, bringing the rook and pushing. So the immediately you cannot go and also maybe improving uh, his structure and. Yeah, c4 immediately not possible. This pawn hangs and also this. But yeah, white has a very nice position here. Black here went king to e7. Maybe queen g7 would have been a better choice. It would, it was equal. After king a7, Nihal Sarin found a very beautiful move which was c4. As I mentioned before, c4 was the idea, but I told it's not immediately possible. Yes, maybe, but uh, the idea behind the move is that obviously you cannot take queen into this pawn is hanging. Then this pawn is also weak. This is weak, and everything slowly becomes weak. And if you were to go d into c4, which was played in the game. Nihal Sarin here played a very beautiful move d5 and yes black took it queen into d5 was played in the game but in the game what Nihal Sarin should have tried was going rook to e7 attacking the knight black takes this pawn queen into and white has the edge here. Now if rook into d7 was played in the game, it would have been a equal position after b2, a very strong move here. Yeah, not equal, we cannot say. Yeah, but white has, a, yeah, white is a little better. But yes, black can try to hold this with so many pawns on the king's side. Or even what white could maybe do, rook into f7, but rook e8 may be played in the game because if you take this queen, I have rook into king, king moves, and I'm just uh, you know, I can take this pawn and I'm just promoting so black uh, that would have been okay. But yeah, after rook e7, c d3, queen b3 would have been very good. Okay, but what was played in the game was queen into d5. And he went here, knight b6, queen into f7, and c b3 was played. Maybe queen to f7 could have was better here. And then after knight into f7, black can go f4, a very strong move. But yeah, in the game he went c into b3. And here white just took the pawn, pawn with this queen. And yes, white is uh, here slightly better. Black doubled his rooks. And here when knight h3, 
rerouting his knight to f4 and the knight will be good there for like uh, keeping an eye on this weakness and also in the future maybe we can jump into the opponent territory here black went rook c1 and here nihal said when knight f4 as i told before keeping an eye on this weakness here he went queen d4 king g2 and also let me tell you what was the problem with knight in h5 black would simply go queen d2 and the position would be in the black's favor the game anyway he went king g2 and black when rook a c3 maybe oh sorry rook 1 c2 might work betterly but yeah he went rook a c3 rook takes and he also took the rook because uh, let me just tell you what happens after the queen is taken a into b3 obviously if you take rook into b3 knight d5 can be played and okay right is better here um yes and after a into b3 black will also go knight d5 in both the cases he goes knight d5 but your black took c1 and here he went knight e2 double attack and your white is clearly winning i think he missed this because after take he missed that you know he should have taken the queen the variation which i showed you why it would have been better there but yeah this is actually just worse after knight e2 double attack and queen a1 knight takes c1 queen e2 and your white just went rook e6 rook and queen both attacking this knight and it has to be defended so black went queen c7 here white went queen e3 black went a5 and f3 and here Kovalenko just resigned because this is just lost these two you know they are too weak and if he just wins one of these pawns also he can maybe sacrifice this book and just the game will be over and yes thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed the analysis i will also put the replay of the game okay thank you bye and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't till now and also like share and comment this video and tell us your thoughts in the comment ba comment box and also tell us what videos you would like to watch on this channel i will try to make uh, those type of videos yep. thank you